Welcome back Wayfinders. Today I am doing a review and modification of the Armageddon series Firesteel from Firesteel.com. I recommend this Firesteel above all others because the mixture that they have and the components that they use uh, create a large amount of very hot sparks, about 5,500 degree sparks. And depending on how much you carve off on here, you're going to be able to get thousands and thousands of fires out of the same fire steel. This was the cheaper version. It didn't have a lanyard hole. So instead of drilling it or trying to drill it, which can cause major problems, considering that once you heat this up enough, it will burn up similar to magnesium because of the small amount of magnesium that's included in the uh, metal itself. Now, what I did here is all I did was I took an old hatchet handle that had broken off, sawed it off, drilled a 3 8 inch hole in the end, and then carved off the uh, exterior, did a little bit of wood burning, made it fit my hand a little bit better. And this is for a friend of mine who is uh, getting into the survival trade, and I wanted to get him started with the right fire steel. Now, I've shown in the past this little tiny bit of ferrocerium that I have on my Wazoo survival necklace, Wazoo being the Wazoo survival gear brand. Uh, not just a statement. This here is a tiny amount of ferrocerium that does a pretty good job of making a decent spark. However, holding and gripping and getting this situated into the tinder can be very difficult. I use a sharpening stone to get my uh, wood carving blade here sharpened up at the beginning of the video, but I have not shown the sparks here. So if you do go very lightly, you'll get very fine sparks. But if you dig in, you get these hot sparks that drop and scatter. You want those hot, hot sparks to fly off in every direction, but you want them to go directly into your tinder. This is difficult to do when you have a very small handle and you have a very small amount of ferrule rod. So we're gonna upgrade today. We're gonna use Caleb's new fire steel here, and we're gonna see if we can get hotter sparks in a more controlled manner using my Damascus knife. We'll set up a little bit of tinder. This is large form tinder. So this would take a lot of heat to get started if we're successful. And a lot of people use the back of their blade here. I like to use the front of my edge. However, that does mean I do need to sharpen this more often. So we'll try both. We'll try dropping in some sparks with the front of my blade, and then we'll flip it over and see if we can drop some sparks with the back of my blade. All right, I'm holding nice and tight, putting this directly into the tinder, putting some downward pressure on it and then scrape. We scraped off the outer protective layer that's on there. Now it's time to try to dig some out. Ooh, almost started a fire on the first try there. Seems to be quite a bit of sparks coming out. Now I told you this tinder is gonna be very difficult for us.
excellent sparks rolling through and then this is a hardwood as well so the fact that we got flame at all is fairly impressive now let's try the back of the blade see if we get the same results As I suspected, the back of the blade's not producing those shavings that we require in order to get these hot sparks. Which is why I'll go with the front of the blade every time. Even though it requires me to maintain my equipment a little more often, I'm okay with that for the effect. In short, would I recommend the Armageddon series from firesteel.com? Absolutely. I'm not currently affiliated with their brand, it's just one that I trust and one that I use. Um, I find it to be a pretty superior fire steel uh, compared to all the other ones out there. If you get a very cheap one, you're gonna have a very hard time carving off the right amount of metal, getting the hot enough spark for you to start that fire. And we were able to get a fire started with hardwood large shavings today that were not dried out. I'm pretty impressed. So an absolute buy, fire steel. If you love my stuff, contact me. I'd love to get in, in touch with you. I'd love to see where we can go with this relationship. If you like my video today please like or subscribe leave a comment anything you do that interacts with my channel helps it push out to more people get more subscribers more views more conversation in the comments all of that is excellent so please help me out uh, if you're already a subscriber you already like the video thank you very much I love what you're doing out there we're growing the community and having a great time doing it so I love you and have a great evening